What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. There's been a ton of awesome things announced and shown off at Google I.O. 2014, but one of the coolest things is right behind me, Project Tango. This looks like a regular tablet, but it is anything but. Let's get a walkthrough of Project Tango and see what you could expect to maybe come to your tablet over the coming years. Uh, so my name is Johnny Lee. I'm the technical project, project lead for Project Tango. And what we've been doing with these devices is uh, maturing the hardware and software for actually doing full 3D tracking uh, and mapping with a device. So uh, our goal is to give devices a human scale understanding of space and motion. Um, so just a little bit of a, a technical dive on what's in these devices. Uh, we have um, a specialized hardware and software for tracking the motion of the tablet itself. So what we have on the left side is a feed of the fisheye lens. Um, and you can see the cameraman right behind you, as well as all these green points, which basically is the computer vision stack running. Uh, but what it allows us to do is if I move the tablet to the left and right, you can actually see I can actually draw the path of the devices in real time. So what this means is that I basically have the ability to uh, have motion capture capability in a device stand unto itself. So if I were to just unplug this cable and walk around the whole Moscone Center, I would actually know uh, roughly where that was relative to where uh, I was in real time. So we would draw a long, long path. Um, the other thing that we have in these devices is an integrated uh, depth sensor. And what that allows us to do is capture uh, 3D geometry of the surrounding environment. Um, so this is kind of a third person view of the with, with people standing in front of us. And you can kind of see uh, the shape, you can see this table here. Um, and rotate it and you can see the profile view of the doors and under the shelf. That's incredible. And so what this allows us to do is not only understand where the device is, but the geometry in front of us. Uh, one of the things we can use this for is actually controlling the uh, camera inside of a game. This is one of our uh, sample SDK apps um, called we call Cube Mover. Let me restart that. Uh, and again, what we've done is we've uh, taken the camera tracking and, and attached that to the virtual camera. Uh, but if I op pick up this cube and I drop it on this switch, uh, I need to pick up, match the cube color with the switch. And the blue cube is actually over there. So if I need to solve the puzzle, I actually have to walk around my space. And come over here to pick up the green cube. It's over here. I gotta throw it to the switch. So anyway, um, that's a little awkward to do on camera, but uh, what it basically means is that if I move through my environment, I can actually use that information in the game. So it sort of introduces this idea of motion gaming and space uh, into a, mo a mobile device. And when can we expect any of this technology to sort of filter its way down to main consumer devices? Um, so we're actively maturing this hardware and we're going to be releasing dev kits later this year to allow early adopter software developers who want to be really excited about exploring this space. Uh, but we're also in very active conversations with OEMs and manufacturers to start incorporating this technology into hardware. Um, we would be very excited to see consumer grade hardware uh, coming into the hands of lots of people next year. So what you guys could be looking at could be the future of not only tablets, but phones and the way we interact with them. The cameras are much more than taking selfies. You can do a crazy amount with it, and this is really at the forefront of that. I can't sort of overstate how cool this is, and so we're looking at the future of what's going to be coming, and I'm, I'm excited to sort of see this make its way to consumer devices. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. Of course, check us out at technobuffalo.com. See you next video. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. We'll be the first ones to know whenever we upload new content. We've got new stuff coming every single day. We want to make sure you see what's new in the world of consumer electronics.